Good afternoon. My name is Jason Roberts Kowalczyk. This is my wife, Carmen Roberts Kowalczyk. We are from Elevated Experience Camping, um, and we operate Willie West Campgrounds. We uh, we are an Alberta camping uh, uh, facility. Hey, we are, and today we're here to talk about our company values. Perfect. So we're going to start off with uh, how about uh, do you want to do the quote or? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll do the quote. So the quote we picked today was practice self-awareness, self-evaluation, and self-improvement. That's very, very important. You should always reflect in on yourself. Eh? Absolutely. Um, I have to practice that a lot. I uh, do more... Uh, I don't know what I do there. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> he should practice okay, so more self-awareness, <laughs> self-evaluation, and self-improvement. Yes, I need to do that. Uh, a quick statistic fact. Um, that uh, research shows that camping is uh, relieves depression and uh, uh, and anxiety and stress. Absolutely, I believe I can even attest to that because um, setting up camp is very anxi- anxiety and stressful for myself. Where my all of our children would tell you that they have experienced watching mom have self timeouts and have to walk around a campground to calm down and they absolutely never want to set up a campsite with their mother again however once the campsite is set up it is probably the one and only time that i can say i truly relax and enjoy doing nothing because I don't feel the stress of having to do something. For sure. I used to have to go a day ahead to uh, set up our tent when we were tenting and uh, make sure it was all set up before Carmen would come in and enjoy the uh, time. So, Carmen, why do you think our customers should uh, know what our company values are? I think our customers should know that what our company values are is because we want to be set apart from other people. We want people to have that experience when they camp with us, that there is an elevated element to their camping, that they're making memories. And so we want our values to show through everything we do so that people see that and that allow them the opportunity to not worry about the logistics of camping so that they can enjoy and have that elevated experience that allows them to have those memories and then wants them to come back because they know we stand behind what we value and what we think um, makes an exceptional camp- camping experience, an Alberta camping experience. Yeah, for sure. So Jason, why do you think our employees should understand our company values? I think our employees should understand our company values. Number one is, is that they can then go and uh, project those values that we we think as a company out onto the customers and and make sure that they are showing that there's so much in their values, right? Like, mm-hmm. um, and then with. Uh, it, it's just so good to have make sure that our our team is 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 following what we have set out for our goal but then they can produce it out yeah one of the things that Jason and I really um, aim to achieve through our company is that we are aligned and congruent um, from um, every position so we don't want it just to be Jason and I feel this way or these are the values that we want in our company. We want to make sure that that alignment and congruence is straight through any person that is employed with us, whether it be a staff member, a volunteer, somebody we partnership. We want to ensure that it doesn't matter who um, you touch and has a part of elevated uh, experience camping, but you sense and you know what our values are. Yeah. So Jason, what do you feel is the one non-negotiable value um, that that we have about our service? The one negotiable non-negotiable, non-negotiable val- uh, value is that we will find a uh, a solution to every question, whether it be small, big, large. We will find that answer and uh, make sure that uh, our customers feel like they are. The, the most important person, person in, in the campground because they are um, 100% are with uh, camping in Alberta there's so many um, 
different campsites, we want to be that out, outspoken and stand out from the crowd campground that we uh, we make sure that our customers are are always happy. Awesome. And Carmen, what one non-negotiable? Uh, what is the non one non-negotiable thing for our for our teamwork? Yeah. So with our team, kind of to sit uh, to go with you is we're really about team. Um, don't believe in hierarchies. Uh, we either all succeed or we all don't. So we have to work as a team, um, and we have to empower our team. Jason and I. Um, got to hear a really cool story once and uh, it always resonates with us when we talk about building our team and our building our crew is that um, in the hotel industry the Waldorf actually empowers their staff to kind of do whatever uh, is needed to make that customer feel special and the story that we got told was the idea that there was a maintenance guy that had overheard a gentleman talking when he was doing a repair about this one newspaper he loved to read every morning. And so the maintenance guy went down to the newsstand that was just around the block and picked up this paper for this gentleman and put it in his room for him when he was out. So when he came back, here was this newspaper that, and it meant so much to him. And it was that little thing that just kind of made them stand apart, that little thing that really didn't, um, was basically effortless for the maintenance person but he didn't have to go through seven sets of people to get it approved he didn't get reprimanded for not asking um to do this but in fact it was like um the company embraced it and was like well done because that's another person that we made feel like they are number one when they come to visit us and so that story really resonated with jason and i and so we want to kind of be the wardolf war waldorf hotel mm -hmm. Uh, of campgrounds. We want to make sure that all of our staff feel empowered that if somebody has a question or concern that they feel it empowered that they can make the right decision to make sure that you all experience that excellent that you feel like you're our number one customer all the time. Yeah um, on that note we uh, we did to come up with the a, a wow moment like right? that's that's what we were, we're really describing that as we want our customers to have that wow um whether they know they're gonna have it or you know through back channels of of you know maybe that newspaper on their on their porch or um maybe a a water bottle when you see someone's just thirsty right like we just want to give that extra above and beyond so carmen uh how important is integrity to our uh business so I think integrity is really important, and especially um, nowadays because people can pick and choose almost anything, you know. And more and more because there's so much that we, so many options that we have, people aren't as um, loyal to brands or people or companies as they used to be. So kind of to go back what I said earlier, that alignment and congruence is really important, and you need to be able to. Um, stand for something uh, and produce and follow through and show that you can do it over and over again and I think that's a piece of the integrity like we have set up our business model and our company to really be about building a brand building an exceptional Alberta camping experience but also having some social and economic uh, development and uh, really being a focus on building the community around us as well and so to me that's part of our integrity is that we're we're not just a business we want to be all-encompassing for the community so even if you're not a camper you're going to see elevated experience camping as somebody or a place where you can have a reunion or have a birthday party because you see our values you see our integrity and you want to be um, join us on our vision perfect so Jason yeah. why do you think it's important to have a positive attitude in a company oh my goodness I think nobody wants to have that ho-hum pissy attitude as a camp host or as a business owner, you just don't retain customers. You, your your staff are not. It, whatever rubs off on me will rub off on my staff. 
whatever rubs off me, rubs off on my business partner. It, it's it's that whole. Um, you just want to have that positive attitude. Anything negative just brings you down, and uh, and especially in the area of Drayton Valley where we're camping, um, is. Uh, it's been hit hard by the economy, and so we really need to, uh, you know, sh- give that extra special something. Yeah. Um, something else about positive attitude is it's not enough to say the words. Um, one of the things, and statistically they say all the time, is it's a lot in the nonverbals that really actually impact people versus the words that come out of our mouth. And so I think that a positive attitude is not just saying the words but it's an at, it's basically an attitude that your whole body presents because again you can say all the right things but if people get a sense that from your body language that you again are not a congruent person it really it it goes to the wayside for sure so carmen um what are your thoughts on delivering um value to your customer so i think especially given um, times nowadays. Tourism, Alberta tourism is very competitive. It's a very competitive market. And so I th- I believe that if you don't have value that your customers see in what you're, the services you're providing, they will just find other opportunities. I would like to, s- I want to be, we will be one of the number one campgrounds in Alberta. And we're going to do that through the value that our customers see when they come down to our campground. They're going to see that there's a difference because even in our area, in the Drayton Valley camping area, we have six, seven, almost 10 campgrounds around us. And so again, just by sheer demographics, it's competitive. So our goal and our commitment to our customers is to make sure that they are getting value when they come down there and experience and memories that has them coming back again and again and again. Yeah, Drayton Valley Camping is uh, is is getting more and more cramped with uh, the between the bush camping and and the, uh, the other campgrounds around us. We have to be so careful with our our guests, and I think we as a company or or focus more on that and I think that's a great thing. Yeah. So Jason, one last question for you. Yes. Uh, do you invest time in the development of yourself and your team? I uh, so with this, we me and you, we have definitely uh, done some more development into the into the each other as in We've taken a marketing class. We've done. Uh, we're doing new and new ways of training our, our staff. We're doing um, without lecture base. We want to do uh, more uh, on hands on, and uh, we have s- some new innovative ways of doing that. Um, we've taken more experience into uh, um, the finance end of it. We. Carmen's done phenomenal stuff there. Um, uh, We've also stepped out of our comfort zone around thinking about what uh, an Alberta camper, what given all levels of their camping experience, what they would enjoy and what they want when they go camping versus like not just what we want or what we've experienced, but what they want. We've also done a lot um, in our development on research, which is... Um, been a quite a learning curve for us because I think I know from our research actually that camping is one of those things that it's kind of like if you do you do you don't you don't you kind of find your favorites and it's a real un fairly untapped market as far as really understanding the demographics and what people really want and so we've done a lot of research around that so that we can develop a campground that is on par for what people want and need and are expecting for the years to come. Yeah, and like with, through our marketing and and just getting the word out there, you know, for Drayton Valley camping is, uh, uh, we just want to get all those people down to our campground. And, it's know. like your second job, yes. camping in Drayton Valley. Yeah. And so we want everybody to have their second job with us. Perfect. 
Well, my name's Jason, and this is my wife, Carmen, and we are with Elevated Experience Camping down at Willie West Campgrounds. Take care. Happy camping.